Hey guys, so today I did this fun eye look using the new Shade and Light Eye Glimmer Palette from Kat Von D. This palette really was beautiful. I also used the new shimmer brush, which I can see why the brush really does pick up a lot of pigment. But I did this look today. I'm going to Sunday brunch. Really natural look. But if you'd like to see me use the new Glimmer eyeshadow palette from Kat Von D to create this nice neutral halo eye, then make sure to keep on watching. Welcome back. So we are doing a eyeshadow tutorial with the new shade and light glimmer palette. I also picked up the glimmer brush because supposedly it works really well with the formulas. We'll see if it's just another brush, but I'm so excited about this palette. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous. Look how gorgeous this packaging is. It's absolutely beautiful. And then this is the inside. There's all different types of shimmer eyeshadows. Like these three are about, those are probably like a sheen shimmer. And then this one's maybe a little bit more shimmery. Like that one, that one, and that one. This one's a little more shimmery. And then the one on the end in each section is like the most shimmery. So I decided let's do an eye look using this and the original shade and light eye palette so I'll use this and this to do a look today I'm not gonna do any swatches because there's already <clears throat> tons of videos out there doing swatches I'm just gonna do a look with it so let's get to it first I'm gonna take this shade on the end tennis latinus I can't say any of these shades so I'm just gonna say this shade doo -doo. in the crease with my Morphe M433 brush. I'm then going to go in with my clean M200 brush and just buff out that harsh edge. I had already set my eyelid with the Urban Decay Illuminator Translucent Setting Powder. I am gonna go back in with more of that shade. Pop it in the inner and the outer corners. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Morphe 506 brush and that same color on the end and just build up the color in the inner and outer next i'm gonna go in with this chocolatey brown shade and just pop it in the inner and outer corners i'm also gonna run that through the crease and then buff it out with my M433 brush. Okay, I'm really loving where this is going right now. Last thing I'm gonna take is a little of the black and that same M506 and just deepen up the inner and outer corner. So I'm going to Sunday brunch today. What do you think about this eye <laughs> Oh, it's so mean though. I'm just taking any excess and just dragging it through the crease. And then back with our M433 just to blend everything. Okay, I'm just adding a little more black and brown mixed together to kind of match the two sides. I went a little crazy on this side, so I just wanna match this side. I am really liking this look so far. So, what I'm gonna do is open up this brush. This is the 50 Glimmer Effect Eye Brush by Kat Von D. It is big, it's pretty dense. This is what it looks like. It looks like just a regular eyeshadow brush. It's pretty dense. Maybe it's gonna be just absolutely wonderful. I have no idea. My Rodal Smoky Eye Pen and I'm going to line my waterline and tight line 
because I know I want to, I know I want this to be a pretty smooth look. And now it's just like, man, you gotta have Okay, so eyeliner's done. Next, I am going to just take my M506 little brush and that first tannish shade, and I'm just gonna bring that right under my lash line. Now I want to go in with this Glimmer palette. First, I am going to take the little Glimmer eyeshadow brush and the lightest, least glimmery called Dune right here. And I want to pop this on my brow bone. It's very pigmented. I'm just blending this, the color back into my brow bone. And we're just going to pop a little of that in the tear ducts and we're probably going to build up with a little more of the shimmery colors so right in the middle i'm thinking this one which is from the warm section maybe layered with this one on top this one's like a champagne-y and this one's more of like a tan a light tan so i'm not gonna wet my brush i'm just gonna go in with this special brush that's supposed to like it does pick up the product very well Okay, I think the brush works pretty well, but I'm not really getting that bam. So what I'm gonna do is wet it with a little all-nighter. I'm gonna do the next shade though. <clears throat> I'm gonna take that champagne -y shade called Rust, maybe? This one. Pick some up on my glimmer brush, spray it, and then tap it on top. Pretty, pretty. So I'm just gonna dust away any of that fallout, which there is fallout, so. Just be wary of that. You might want to do your eyes first if you're not like filming a tutorial. I'm just going to take my 433 and just kind of like tap and blend all this back into each other. And I'm just going to flick away any of the shimmer that got in my crease. I don't mind it in the crease if it's just like a little diffused. It's coming out to be a really pretty halo eye. And it's really nice to do neutral, just a regular, regular neutral halo eye, which I never really do. I am also going to take this little smudgy brush. It's a Morphe M508. And I'm going to take this shimmery black shade from the Glimmer palette. And I'm going to pop that along my bottom lash line. That Glimmery black is very pigmented. I am getting some fallout. I probably should have either put powder under here or, I mean, I, I probably would have done my eyes first rather than my face, but because I was filming, I did my base first, so that's that. I'm also gonna take my smudgy brush and just get that very edge above my top lash line. Go back in with my Morphe M506 and I'm going to take the original shade and light matte palette and a little of this darker brown shade and I'm just gonna blend that black into that tan taupey shade. Last thing I am gonna do is I am gonna take this champagne shade in the little glimmer brush and I'm just gonna pack it right into this inner tear duct, give it a little more shimmer. I'm gonna curl my lashes. I'm gonna go in with my Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. And just give a good coat to the bottom and top lashes. I am gonna go in with my cherry lashes. These are being released from my lash line very soon. So I will keep y'all updated on them. I am obsessed with them. They're just so pretty. So I'm just gonna pop some duo eyelash glue on them. While those get tacky, I'm gonna go in with Hawkwind Lip Liner by Kat Von D. Thank you. 
and I just blended it in. I'm gonna go in with my favorite super light liquid lipstick, Cult by Bare Minerals, to just pop in the center. Sometimes I'll draw in the lip liner a little more to make it a little darker, but for this look, because I'm going to Sunday brunch at the country club, I wanted to just tone it down a little. So for me, this is toned down. I'm gonna take my eyelash that's semi-dry and I'm just gonna pop it on. Just like that. Do you see the difference eyelashes make to a look? I mean, just totally extra, kind of basic. So, I'm gonna give my face a good spray with Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So as far as the Shade and Light Glimmer Palette, I think if if you just want a good palette or a good two palettes to start your makeup collection with, if you want to be able to do any neutral look your heart desires, all you really need is this palette, which is the matte original. It gives you neutrals, cool tones, and warm shades anything you could need in a neutral look. And then with the Glimmer palette, it gives you those same things in every type of shimmer from a subtle satin finish to a super almost glittery shimmer finish. So with these two palettes, I think you can do any neutral look you want. Now, if you do makeup and you're trying to build your kit, I think these two would be great for any neutral look bridal. It's just great. Her formulas are wonderful as always and I was able to create this beautiful halo eye. We know halo eyes for me is one of my favorite eyeshadow looks so that's why I decided to do that. But if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe before you go and hit that bell if you would like notifications to know when my next video is posted. Also list in the comments below any palette y'all want me to do looks with or if y'all would like to see another look using this palette, maybe a little more dramatic, maybe a little more subtle, whatever y'all want, let me know. But until next time, bye!